you are looking at graffiti. It is one of the most controversial means of expression, artistry, and even crimes. But how much of it is really art, and how much of it is just exhibitionism and criminal action? Well, the answer is not so simple, because graffiti can exist in many different shapes and forms and means of construction, such as engraving, carving, writing, painting, and they can depict different subject matter. Some subject matter can be very cartoony, other times it can be uplifting, sometimes it can be just plain abstract, but most of the graffiti that most of us are used to is often very vulgar, tasteless, and oftentimes offensive. At least, that's what most people tend to think of when they think of graffiti. There's the kind of graffiti that makes us laugh, the kind that amazes us, the kind that reminds us of the past, others we don't understand, and the kind that are probably better left unseen. Oftentimes, graffiti is referred to as vandalism. However, vandalism is defined more as a destruction of public property, whereas graffiti written with chalk is easy to erase without causing serious damage to surfaces like these, such as concrete and the whatnot. If the material is permanent, filled with chemicals that can disintegrate a surface or apply to a fragile or valuable surface, like, for example, if someone actually had taken the chalk but instead of drawing on concrete, they actually drew it over a famous picture, like, from a museum, then this could more likely become an act of vandalism. If that's the case, then creating a colorful mural such as this, or simply drawing a hopscotch board on the ground could possibly consider being an act of vandalism. If possible, even putting a simple sticker over public property may even be considered a means of graffiti. There is a different form of graffiti that walks along the lines between graffiti and censorship. This is known as anti-graffiti. As the description suggests, Something like, for example, painting over graffiti can be one such example. It's basically like the FCC of the art world. Is graffiti necessarily a crime? In a sense, yes. Graffiti exists as a recognizable art form, and a risky one at that. As I said before, when most people think of graffiti, they think of sexually explicit imagery and even hateful messages some of which can be viewed as a genuine hate crime of slurring and insensitivity. A lot of graffiti found in bathroom stalls in schools and public restrooms consist of these notorious words and prolific imagery. A lot of people do it for simply a thrill or for attention or even a protest of a present day issue like in politics or religion and whatnot. Though admittedly there are a few individuals that deliberately exploit this exhibitionism out of true prejudice and hate. Other graffiti artists that actually aren't really creating something controversial or negative can actually be charged not really with a crime of hatred or vandalism, but also trespassing. For example, such as sneaking into a train track area to create their masterpiece. Even if they didn't trespass nor write something hateful, Graffiti artists tend to suffer a lot more for their art as other people complain simply about the fact that they've written over a wall or something or even scribbled over what someone else has already drawn. Either way, graffiti will remain a most controversial art form throughout many years to come.